Thank you so much for being here again. And we just heard Dave talking about the fish fries. Churches are not included in this mass gathering, you know, ban that we're seeing. But what do you think about people who are going to go to church or maybe they're going to go to restaurants? What advice would you give to people who think, can I still get out and about? We have a more teachable, talkable position today than even we did yesterday. I just want to premise this with saying we're going to surge. We're doing testing. These numbers are going to go way up. People are going to go crazy. From an epidemiological point of view, we want this is going to be a big curve. If we can mitigate and flatten that curve, the better off we're going to be. Staying away from crowds makes a lot of sense. Social distancing helps you deal with the despair out there today. So anything we could do to stay out of that, so that those conditions, we, we, we should do. And of course, when it comes to the church, it's a belief system, mm -hmm. and it's what you believe. But I believe you can take control of your life too. Let's help your provider out a little bit and do the things we should do so we don't spread the virus. Mm -hmm. And being in close contact with a lot of people who may be compromised because of what's gonna be happening, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's a, Let's stay home and pray. Yeah. So I see we are still getting a lot of questions about vacations and should I still oh. take my vacation? Uh, is it a matter of if you were going this weekend versus going in a couple of weeks or what would you no, recommend? It, it, it's going to surge. It's going to go crazy in the next couple of weeks. That's why I just say we want to set this, let people take control of their life. The, uh, it, it, it's, for most of our guests, for the next month, it's going to be terrible. I, the decision we're making in Ohio, we're leaders in the country. DeWine has had a nice movement, taking the kids out of school. The issue isn't so much to travel. We might get to Florida or whatever, but when you come back, what are you going to bring back with you? Mm -hmm. And you're going to sit there after you came home and all of a sudden you got a sniffle. Is, is that something or not? Mm -hmm. So you have the physical problem, but you have the mental problem when you come back. I would be very hesitant to travel any place to be introduced to new germs that you can bring back here. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would, I would cancel a, a trip to a Florida now because we can plan for one next year. Okay. And it's, it's a, is it worth putting people at risk that you love? It's, it's not. And, and again, this is not about other people. It's about you taking control. Mm -hmm. And it's not some China problem. It's our problem. Mm -hmm. And we have to take it and say, we're going to make a difference. We're going to contain this and mitigate. We'll, meet, we'll make a difference, but we're going to have to put our efforts into it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to summarize here. We're going to get to your specific questions in Facebook Live after the show, but a lot of other people asking about, I have this underlying health condition or I have that underlying health condition. Should I be worried? Yes, you should be worried because this is a, a, a more lethal disease than we had with the flu that's out right now. I always suggest that people say, what should I do? I say, talk to your health care provider. They best understand your situation and they can best help you. Um, we do not want to get into a situation like Italy where there are now not enough health providers to take care of the people that are sick. Mm -hmm. So we, be prudent. When you have a concern, call your doctor. Don't visit your doctor unless you need to. Stay away from the emergency because that's where the real sick people are. But certainly if you have the, 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 the big concerns like, you know, your fever is up, not, although not everybody gets it, but if yeah. you have a cough, and of course if you have a problem breathing, that is life-threatening. Mm -hmm. You need to uh, be on that right away. Yeah, I saw a social media post saying, you know, this is inconvenient for everybody, but let's show solidarity and, and stay healthy so that the public health officials can do their job. That's a common yes. voice of reasoning, not hysteria. Right, okay.